All right, what's up, guys? Magic TK here. Running, guys, are watching another editing tutorial. Now, this one is going to be on this cool form character thing. You guys saw a preview at the beginning of this video. I'm going to start doing that now, putting previews at the beginning. I think that'll be a bit better for you guys to understand what you're going to be learning throughout the course of this video. So, hope you guys enjoy that. So, pretty much, um, this isn't too complicated of an effect. I did use it in my community montage a couple times at the start and finish. So. Without further ado, let's just jump into it. It's not even hard to do. It's actually pretty simple. All you guys gotta do, first of all, you need a character model. And if you guys don't have one of these, you can look it up or go sub to my buddy Fakes Editing. He has some really amazing character models you guys can download from him. So I suggest you go check him out if you don't have anything. But anyways, I'm just going to select a simple model. I'm just going to search for something. And it also has to be .obj. That's the only file format that works for this, unfortunately. But all right, let's just wait for all this loads. In case you guys are wondering why this is taking so long, I'm rendering something in Cinema 4D and I'm not going to show you guys what it is because it's from my store RC and I want it to be all secret for the very end. So, okay, finally it's working. But yeah, it's gonna, the thing I'm rendering is taking 40 hours. 40 hours. Just think about that. Four zero hours. So that's pretty crazy. Alright, anyways, back to the tutorial. Um, yeah, so you're going to create a new solid, call this form, actually doesn't matter what you call it, you can call it whatever you guys want to, call it penis if you feel like it, doesn't matter, <laughs> this effect will still work. Anyways, let's search up form, and like I said, similar to the last tutorial, you're going to need trap code form for this, so, yeah, make sure you guys have that, you can get it however you like, like I said, just as last time, I'm not going to be providing any download links or anything, as that could get my channel terminated, and I don't want that, so... Yeah, so we have this OBJ, right? We just drag it into our comp, just normal. So we're gonna turn this off because it doesn't matter, we don't need it. But in form, what we can do is we can click the base form and we can do OBJ model, which is really, really neat. And then you can open down the drop down for the OBJ settings. My computer will work. Select the 3D model and just select that layer. So now, turn back off the transparency grid. Hurry up, please. All right, let's just see. My computer's thinking. I said turn this off. So yeah, now we have this model, right? And it looks kind of weird because it's not rigged or the arms are just in weird position. That's just how the model comes like. If you guys want to mess around with Cinema 4D, if you guys know how to do that, like I said before, Fixed Editing has some really awesome tutorials on 3D rigging and actually moving the guy's arms and stuff because you cannot do that in form, which really sucks. But... It's just how it is. So, like I said, I suggest you guys go check him out. Fakes in the description. So now that we have this model, we can actually create a new camera. So the command for that is Control Alt Shift C or Command Alt Shift C if you're on a if you're on a Mac, which I am. So just click OK. I'm like I'm looking at all these settings already. Then press C for your camera tool. And I'm gonna keep clicking C because until I get this rotation thingy, I'm just going to rotate around the character. Okay, the anchor point's really weird. Hmm. All right, let's just move this guy back to zero. Because maybe that might be it, why it's acting all weird. Okay, one second. So yeah, basically we can just rotate around the guy. If it even lets me. Come on. Okay, the tutorial is just not, like, why does my computer have to ruin this? Really? Anyways, you guys get the point, you can just rotate the character around. Hopefully this will be a lot faster on your computers. If your computer is slower than this, you know, I, I, I feel bad for you. That sucks. Okay, we can just bump the size. Let's make this like 600 by 600 other settings too. Like, for example, you can go to skip vertex. Um, invert Z, what does that do? Uh, that just flips it pretty much. Speed, I don't know what that does. Skip vertex basically skips everything, everything, so there'll be like less particles if that makes sense. So you can go like two, now there'll be one third as many particles. So I don't even know if that did anything, but whatever. You guys get the point. I wouldn't even use that very much to be honest. I think it's kind of useless. Let's just set this back to zero. Um, okay, so a few more things you guys want to add on to this to make it look a bit prettier. And like I said, unfortunately, since this is rendering Cinema 4D, I can't take this model in and actually rig it and animate it so that it looks nicer and the arms aren't just like awkward like that. But it's just how it is. Like I said, like I mentioned before, I'll mention this again. You guys go check out Fakes if you want to learn how to do that because he posts some awesome stuff. 
So yeah, you guys want to glow this? It look pretty cool. If you guys want to do a color like I did it in my community montage and in the example, all you guys got to do is go down to the particle settings and select this color, make it whatever you want. I wouldn't suggest you go too far. Like this is completely red. I wouldn't suggest doing that. It's just going like a little bit white. So now it's just a little bit red. Does that makes sense. Or we can even do blue or some other cool colors. I'm, I'm liking this blue. Looks pretty futuristic, pretty sweet. Last thing you guys might want to add is a FL Glow, which is another plugin you guys would probably want to get. It's really useful. FL Glow. Uh, in the example, I also did some text, which I'm not going to do because pretty much it's element text. It's nothing very special. So, pretty much just basic text that I tracked with the camera. So, all you guys got to do is bump this radius up. Let's put this to like. Okay, this is my computer is the slowest thing ever. I truly apologize. This is the only time I'll be able to record this tutorial. Let's make this like 200. Just see how that looks. Great. That doesn't look too bad at all. So, anyways, we have this form thing thingy. That's about the end of the tutorial. Like I said, you guys might want to add some text. I just used some 3D text, but I'm not gonna do a tutorial on that because it is pretty basic to create. It's not very hard at all. I'm sure you guys can figure it out from my past tutorials and stuff like that. If you guys want to see a tutorial on 3D text, I could definitely do that. So throw that down in the comment section down below if you guys want to see it. That's about the end of the tutorial for today. It's basically just creating this cool 3D particle thingy. Looks really sexy in my opinion. And it would look a lot better if my computer wasn't dead, but apparently it is. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully, hope, hope this hasn't gone on too long. Let's just see. Seven minutes. That's not that bad. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. Leave a comment if you guys want to see anything else. And hope you guys enjoy daily uploads continuing all summer long. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. And have a great day. Bye.